Adrian here at Thrashing Code, and we are getting into the AI tool section of the Roman numeral problem. Um, basically, what I'm doing, it's not a complicated thing, just taking a number, at least this is previously what I was doing, taking a number, whatever the digit may be, and converting that into its Roman numeral equivalent. So, you know, like I, V, X, L, C, M, etc. Um, so the rules and a bit of basic description around what that is, if you're unfamiliar with Roman numerals, is in the previous video. So go watch that one if you want to learn more about Roman numerals or, you know, just give the Wikipedia page a twist. Today, however, I'm going to use the AI tool to extend what I had been writing. So we went int to Roman numeral string. Okay, today I would like to go from string to Roman numeral. I'm going to start doing that by opening up the project that I already have. And we can see that here with Roman numeral tests and the Roman convert function here, right? Which I ended up finalizing with this particular uh, magic looking function, right? It looks kind of wild. So this is a dictionary. And then there's the where statement with a select off of that, which is the link lambda uh, statement syntax feature of C sharp. So back over here, though, I have my test. And as you can see, it all is int to string of whatever the Roman numeral is. So today, what I want to do is start off with a test. And this is Copilot that's right there spitting stuff at me already. OK, so uh, it is clearly not knowing what I'm trying to do yet, but I'm going to just start typing something. So we'll go ahead and go with this. But I'll just go ahead and flip it around. And I'm betting the AI tool will then start to help and, and kind of have a good idea of what to do. And it will probably, I'm betting, even know what in tarnation a Roman numeral is. And does it? It sure does. It even knows the negation rule IV right here. So let's go ahead and just enter, tab, enter. Tab, yep, that's right, and that's right, and then IX, yep, sure enough. Don't even need me. I'm completely useless. <clears throat> All right, public void. This is um, convert from Roman tests. Uh, yes, right? Yep, that's, that's looking good. Uh, Roman number convert from Roman. That doesn't exist. It underlines it. So I don't I don't know what features here refactor. I'm wondering if it lets me use expression wrap. No, that's not it. Let's see here. Hover over it and see what it does. View problem quick fix. So is the no that that's not what I wanted. I'm seeing if there's a uh, key. I don't I don't know if I can get it to. Gen ah, there we go. I kind of figured it would have the feature somewhere. Generate this. Wait, did it did it do it? So where where did it put it? I said generate it, and oh, it did put it over here from Roman. But then why is it still? Oh, it did it did go away there. What is this equal constraints always fail as the actual and the expected value cannot be e equal. Oh, yeah, that's true. So let's see here. <clears throat> so what we want to do is we want to convert it, and that result Wait, da -da -da -da. int is expected. Yeah. No, that's that should be right. String int. What is it fussing about? It can't is equal to. Yeah, that result. Oh, because let's see here. Doop. Is it because, yeah, because it made this a bool. We don't want this to be a bool, we want it to be an int. And then we want this to, is it gonna, oh wow, this, okay, this is a weird implementation. Is that gonna work? I don't know. I don't know how to run tests in here, but let's run a numeral test, let's run this way. I said that I don't know how to run it in the IDE actually, but I, 22 tests. They all passed. Wait, did they all pass? 
with a total of one test files match the, the specified pattern. Wait, it seems like it didn't run the other stuff here. Because there's, oh, save, save. Now let's try that again. There should be two now. Two, two files. Roman, okay, convert test. Expected eight, but was zero. So it got, it, the implemented code here failed across the board. <laughs> okay, yeah, looking at that, that, nine, 10, yeah, like what is? What is this even doing? So, M, I don't know, I just wanna do, like let's do the opposite, or I mean, let's, It's it's real intent on that one. It wants that particular implementation. Let's do what's your if uh, Roman uh, length? Yeah, it was empty equals zero. Okay, and then return. Uh, no, I don't. I don't want to return. Is that right? Did it just, did it actually flip it correctly for me? Where da, 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 starts with p dot key dot length. Convert from Roman. Okay, so that, it might have just, I'm gonna be kind of shocked if it, oh my God, it did it. Wow, okay. So I gave it a little cueing and the ghost text then suggested the exact flip of what I, I'm impressed. I'm actually impressed by that, that it decided, that it, that it spit this back out. I is one. Yeah, it got it right. It looks like it got it right. I'm gonna go write some more tests real quick. Um, what's your test case? I guess we can do 11, but let's, let's do like a test case. I wanna do XXX. Can I do that? What in the world? 59. That's a weird one. Okay, let's just do that. And then test case. Yeah, actually, LIX. Will both of those convert to that? That doesn't, that seems loopy. I don't, yeah, you shouldn't do it that way. It should be that way. LIX, yeah, okay. And then that one. And let's, yeah, okay. There we go. Yeah, those, okay, that's what I wanted. I wanted these, these weird ones like this. Okay, and they should all pass, of course. And what did we get? Zero, 44 passed. Sweetness, all right. Yeah, can I get just like a nine, let's do just a 900. Is it gonna let me, is it gonna do that? Or 900. That was test case for 900. Test case. Hey, look at there. That's what I wanted to see. And then let's go back up here and we'll do 50. Do 40. Not 59. I want. Okay, that sort of helped me when I did that. And then let's do test case. I want to do 
uh, v, you know, uh, XL. 44, all right, let's do that, that, that works. And then we'll just do, that should pass too. Yep, 47 tests, all right, that looks good. So with a very, very short effort, I have implemented the contra flow of Roman numerals. So now we have Roman numeral to int and int to Roman numeral. We have both of the methods in our core Roman convert. I'm going to go ahead and commit this into the code base. Let's see here. What all files? Yeah, so we did test, convert, and then we have whatever solution file. All right, so git commit the final AI implementation and Contra method. There we go. All right, we're done. Uh, we got both of them going both ways. We got additional tests, got it all covered. Copilot rocked. That was super simple, super quick. We went through the ghost text and then did a little suggestions via comments, which is one of the, one of the many ways that you can use it. And it worked great. So, so far, We've covered three, Copilot, Claude, and ChatGPT. So stay tuned, subscribe to the blog, subscribe to the YouTube, whatever you wanna do. Um, things will be in the details below, links to those other things if you want to. And I will catch you on the next episode when I tackle, I don't remember which one's next, but anyway, it'll be coming down the pipe. So see you next time. Till then, happy thrashing code. Cheers.